Yo guys, what is going on and welcome back to another video here on the channel. Today we are going to be playing with some Mega Knight. This deck is actually currently being used by the number one player in the world who is Sweep at the current time. So if you all credit to him for this deck, now I don't know if he made it, he got it from someone, but we're going to give it a try today, showing it off because it is, it's a really toxic deck to be honest. We do have the Goblin Giant, it's just Goblin Giant Psycho with Mega Knight thrown in, so I mean, you can't go wrong, it's too... <laughs> questionably overpowered cards um well mega knight not really overpowered but uh just kind of annoying and an overpowered card in the goblin giant excuse my phone popping off um but yeah guys a bit of a different topic today so unfortunately today um my 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 dog sadly passed away and you know times like this just makes you realize like life no matter that be a dog or whether that be someone around you life's fragile so enjoy your life while you're here because you never know when things are going to change what's what's going to happen and whether that be with people, with your pets, anything like that, never take life for granted because it's a it's a very it's a very precious thing. So it's Monday boys. Have a good week. Make sure you're working hard this week. And uh, yeah boys, do something you'll be proud of come the weekend. So uh, yeah. That aside, I will <laughs> no more no more depressing talk for the video. We're gonna we're gonna move on, we're gonna be positive, it's a fresh week and we're ready to get after it. So Anyways, back on to Clash. We're off to a pretty good start here. Our friends playing just, we know, we know the kind of average uh, piggy cycle with the Queen. This deck's a bit of a throwback deck, actually. I, I used to play this a long time ago, but I haven't in quite a while. And, um, yeah, it's nice to see people playing it again, because it's definitely a solid, solid deck. I don't really know what to do. We're in kind of an awkward situation where we're just like, what do we do with ourselves? And, by the way, this deck is fully viable, even if you have the evil bats or not. Decks... The bats are just really good comboed with the, with the, um, what's that thing called? With the Mega Knight. So, yeah, I decided it goes well. So you don't need to have the, the Evo. Don't be thinking that you can't use this deck because you don't have the Evo. It really doesn't rely on it. Like some decks do rely on Evos. This deck does not. The Evo bats are kind of just, just a part of it. Let's get that rage going just to destroy all that. And I'm going to hit the ability here. And hopefully that's going to be two towers down. Ooh, not quite two, but let's go Goblin Giant up the left here, actually, just to keep the pressure going. And we're going to go Bats behind, just to be annoying, because I love to be annoying in this game. And I think that's going to be it. don't think he's going to do any more. Bats are going to shred the tower, and they have so much health. And that is going to be it for game number one, boys. Let's hop straight into game number two. And we are back for game number two, boys. So, let's see what Hino Josa is playing. Um, sorry if I butcher the pronunciation. I'm not. I'm not great with these kind of things. Um, but I as as some of you who haven't watched the videos have no heard me say I do my placement kind of in a hospital, and I tell you it's 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 actually very interesting. Some of the things you kind of see. I'm working on like um, a respiratory ward, so I'm like seeing people with like uh, like you know respiratory problems. The respiratory is just like your lungs and stuff. For anyone doesn't know. Um, and yeah, it's it's actually really really interesting. I'm thoroughly enjoying it. So, I, I if anyone's wondering, I'm a physiotherapy student. So, if anyone's thinking of getting into it, I would actually recommend. It's a really interesting kind of course and career. So, if that's something you are thinking of, do do look more into it. It's actually a lot more in physio than you would think. Physio, if for anyone that's not from the UK, it's just like physical therapy. But like, I think there's like a misconception where it's just. It's like just broken bones and muscles and things like that, but it's actually a lot to do with like, uh, like neurological conditions and lung, like lung conditions or whatever way you want to, whatever way you want to phrase that. But yeah, I don't really have a have a topic to talk about right now, so we're just gonna stick to the game and we're gonna fireball that little prince simply just because I have nothing else to do and it's better than leak an elixir. We get that ability out of him, bit of a questionability. I I don't know what that was about. He seems like a bit of a waste of three elixir. He, I know, I understand he wanted to keep the little prince up, but yeah, it seems like a big waste. So we're gonna go for Mega Knight here, destroy his stuff. He's gonna go for a witch way in the back. He has Mega Knight as well here, so he very well could go for that, and he's not. We're gonna drop the rage. Our Mega Knight's just out of the rage right now, unfortunately, which is a little annoying because we definitely would destroy this kind of stuff. But I'm gonna hit the ability now, and then very nice. Our little prince is doing some work. And I'm going to actually cycle my little, my giant goblin in the back. And this might seem a bit like counterintuitive. But 
we're going to start building up a big attack while we have the elixir lead that we do have right now. Going to go for goblins here on top of the little prince. And then I'm going to go for the fisherman here in the centre. We're going to hit the fireball on top of that. Go for the rage as well. Take it all down very, very nicely. We're going to pull out back that mega knight with the fisherman. We go for our own mega knight on top. And that is going to be the tower fall. And that was a really, really nice sequence of events, we'll say. Um, so yeah, we cleaned them up pretty nicely there. Kind of just got outplayed. And let's go for our fisherman. We'll hit the fireball here just to stop the... The momentum of the Ram Rider, it's still going to keep going, but it's too little too late now anyway, so. Yeah, boys, that's up shooting the game number three. And yes, guys, we are back for the third and final game of today's episode. And I just want to take a quick second to apologise if this video today seems a little, uh, like, lacklustre all over the place. I don't really know what to say. I wanted to film the video for you guys and kind of get, like, a nice message out while I'm feeling like this, but obviously, like, it's kind of hard to... <laughs> To keep the spirits high just when everything, without everything that's happened. So, yeah, I'm sorry if it's a little all over the place, but that's what we'll hopefully be back to ourselves tomorrow. Keeping the positivity going for this week, boys. And I just want you all to do the same. So, really bad little principle off the bat. I don't really know what that was about. Our Mega Knight's going to destroy this and hopefully get a hop on tower. Bats are still there as well. Bats are going to do big damage. I definitely... Oh, I hit the ability a bit late. I was gonna say I definitely could have hit the ability and then I was like, oh I still can, but it, it was it was too late, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, gonna go goblins here at the bridge up the right. We have our fisherman going in the back. The fisherman actually came in really clutch last game. I it was one of the cards that was kinda like like do you really need the fisherman? Let's be real here. That is such nice timing. Oh my god. But um, yeah, the fisherman was one of the cards that's like, do we really need the fisherman? Like like does anyone ever sit outside of Royal Giant? Does anyone ever sit and be like you know what this deck could use? A fisherman. <laughs> no, like I don't. I don't think so. So uh, I was kind of like a bit of a random card, but we'll, we'll, we'll you know we'll, we'll put it in. Clearly there must be some kind of thing behind it. And the card seems to be just clutching up for us, doing bits. I'm gonna go for the rage here. I know it seems a bit rogue, but I want to take her out before she, or him. I don't know why I keep calling it a girl. I think it's just like the the long hair or something. I don't know, but my bad. Um, but yeah, uh, I wanted to get it to get the little prince down before they use that ability and just causes some annoyance and for two elixir it's gonna be worth it just to get it out of the field and out of your head so i'm gonna go for my own little prince into this night here and now as well we as long as we don't choke this game's in the bag and that'll be quick and easy three and oh today because this deck's apparently a new meta but i mean it's goblin giant it's goblin giant and mega knight can you can you can you go wrong like i'm actually i'm i'm genuinely intrigued like like can you actually be bad with this deck and we've got, was it, we, we had a piggy game as well earlier, didn't we? From what I remember. So two piggy games while we have Mega Knight is so nice. Let's go for the evil bats here. Very nice. And we're just going to fireball tower. We don't need to, but I will just will. Just to get out of the way and make sure there's no funny business about. Let's go for the goblin giant in the pocket. Maybe we can get the two crown. Keep applying a bit of pressure. We're gonna go for the little prince in the pocket too, and he's rage quit. Pretty sure that's three rage quits today, which is very nice. And yeah, boys, that is it for game number three. And yes, guys, this is the deck that we did use for today's video. Now, this deck, as you see, was very, very strong. And I was kind of just chilling, playing, sitting back, chilling, killing. And yeah, we we three wins, three easy wins at that. So if you're looking for a new Mega Knight deck and you have these cards, you're kind of goblin giant leveled up and stuff. Check this deck out because it's it's definitely a dark horse. Like it's a very very good one. I could see it coming more into the meta as we go on. It's kind of funny seeing Mega Knight being played at such high ladder because it's like it's one of the cards that like, it runs rampant in mid ladder and then it just gets forgotten about. So yeah, maybe it's making a comeback. Who knows? But yeah, boys, if you did enjoy this video, do be sure to hit like, hit subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace out.